I guess what we do is just drive around this circle here. It should be the second left exit. There's the hotel. Hey, look, kids. There's Big Ben and there's Parliament. There it is, there it is, there it is. I know. I can't seem to get over to the left, honey. I'll try next time. Sorry. It's amazing. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> That is a clip from National Lampoon's European Vacation, where Clark, those crazy Griswolds, can't seem to get off the roundabouts. You may have noticed more and more roundabouts on neighborhood roads, and if you come to one, hopefully you're not like that and you know what to do. Yeah, there is data that suggests they're safer and faster than that traditional four-way stop or a stoplight. But as Chris Sadegi shows us, that's only if used correctly. <laughs> These wheels are starting to pop up more on North Texas roads. Wheels supposed to make you move faster. I think they're okay. They've worked out pretty good so far. And keep you more safe. No, we prefer them. But these wheels aren't on your car. Instead, your car's on them. Several cities in the area are ditching the stop signs and lights and drawing a circle. And they're convenient. Park Vista Boulevard in Fort Worth is one street where intersections spin you right round counterclockwise. There are about 29 roundabouts in Fort Worth and 21 more being considered. People in the Kings Ridge neighborhood in Fort Worth have to use this roundabout to get in and out. And the ones we talk to say they think it's more effective, but only if drivers know the roundabout rules. Less than half people don't know how, how when, when it's their turn to yield. I think the double ones, they're a little bit hard to understand. It's not as easy as green means go, but also not as hard as you may think. First stop, everyone yields to traffic on your left before entering the circle. If you're making a right, stay in the outside lane. If you're going straight, you can pick either lane. Making a left or a U-turn, use the inside lane. Simple enough? I think a four-way stop might be safer. Well, the Federal Highway Administration says not. That roundabouts reduce all crashes by 37% and fatal crashes by 90%. Of course, that all comes with an important disclaimer. They make it more convenient when the folks know how to, how to use it. So I hope you were paying attention. We want to drive in circles, not talking them. In Fort Worth, Chris Sadegi, News 8 Daybreak. Boy, I'll tell you, they don't feel safer to me. They create a lot of anxiety. And I'm totally confused now because I thought you were supposed to, I guess, I guess instead of stop sign, I thought you were supposed to yield to the traffic on your right. <laughs> So I'm doing it totally wrong. I hope you don't see Kara in a roundabout <laughs> coming the other way. Uh, okay. There she is. No, I, it causes major anxiety <laughs> for me. So share your thoughts. We use the hashtag I am up.